Deputy Marion Harkin. Thank you. Thank you. Can. Um, first of all, Minister, uh, can I welcome this piece of legislation in that it tackles a specific and important issue in regard to student accommodation, and that is the requirement that students um, must be able to uh, rent their accommodation for 41 weeks of the year, whereas pre previously many students had to rent it for 51 weeks out of every year. I mean, Minister, this was an extortionate practice by those accommodation uh, providers who were trying to extract the maximum amount of rent from students and their families. And it was an abhorrent practice. And I'm glad to see that this piece of legislation will put an end to that situation, whereby students have to pay for student-specific accommodation that they, they won't have to pay for accommodation they won't use. Now, I have read through the bill itself, and it seems to do what it says on the tin. Um, and that is to prohibit the charging of an advance rent payment that exceeds one month's rent, and that students cannot be requested or required to pay for student-specific accommodation during the summer months when they don't require it. It also um, applies residential tenancies board sanctions to what is termed improper conduct by a landlord or licensor for exceeding the duration of 41 weeks. But in this context, Minister, uh, we know that the RTB is already overburdened and under-resourced. And I'm just wondering if there's any provision to further resource the RTB, either in terms of a, a staff member or other resources to ensure that this piece of legislation will in fact have the required impact where needed. Now another minister issue, minister, that really matters here is, is timing. I mean, can we be sure that the president will have signed this bill uh, into law in time for students who will be looking for accommodation for, for this year? I know of some students who have already signed leases and agreements for this year and next year, up to next uh, June, and some are caught with the 51-week requirement. And what I'm asking is, you, there's nothing can be done about that, but could you do some kind of campaign with the various student unions and colleges, etc., to let students know that the law is being changed. And maybe also for, for you or Minister O'Brien to make a statement to all student-specific accommodation providers, alerting them to the requirements of the new legislation and asking that they would apply those requirements as soon as this legislation passes through the shambles. Um, I do think information is important here, that students just don't get caught in that, that gap, however long it might be. Now, I've had a look at some websites which were advertising student accommodation at, in Sligo uh, for, for last year. And uh, one of the things, and um, other deputies have referred to it, is the requirements, for example, uh, of an electricity prepayment. I see one provider is looking for €400 Euro up front for electricity prepayment. They're looking for €420 Euro up front for utilities. And then, of course, now this is for the, the current year, the, the payments had to be paid in two moieties, which was just impossible for people. And while your legislation deals with the latter part of that, I, the, you know, things like prepayments for electricity or utilities are not mentioned in the legislation. So if you could clarify, Minister, what the situation uh, is there. And I have to say, and while I welcome the legislation, um, 
the, the cost of student accommodation is huge. If you have one, two students uh, in third level, let's say one in Galway, one in Limerick, or one in Dublin, the cost is phenomenal uh, for families. And especially if a student maybe is going on to do a master's or whatever. I mean, families are really hit hard. So while this legislation is good, um, um, I'm just wondering, is, is there anything to stop landlords increasing the cost of accommodation to sort of counter the 41-week requirement? In other words, and I'm not sure about this, but you will know, are they subject to, to rent pressure zone legislation? Now, Minister, I believe, and I think many deputies do, that we need to move to a model of the provision of on-campus accommodation. The Minister said in his speech today that the Government has confirmed investment of 100 million to deliver more than 1,000 student accommodation beds. And he said 493 in UCD, 405 in DCU, and 116 in Maynooth. Minister, I want to hear about some of these beds being provided uh, north of a line from Dublin to Galway. I don't want to hear that the, most of the, the money is being spent in our capital city or elsewhere. And finally, Minister, for 10 seconds, this isn't all about housing. Public transport is very important. If you look at Tubbercurry to Sligo, a distance of 35 kilometres, the only bus is the expressway. One stop. Minister, we need a local link that can pick up students and that, again, would take some of the pressure off the cost of accommodation and, secondly, the, the amount of accommodation that is available. Thank you.